Hey Simlays, it's Delicacy here with another episode of Let's Build a Housebird. I'm sorry it's been such a long time since I have uploaded a video, but it is because I have been in Sydney hanging at the Sim Supplies house with Caitlin Sims and Zeus, uh, another YouTuber, which was a great week. I had a lot of fun with it, but first of all, I, uh, I just want to check these ropes that we put in, uh, if the Sims can walk under them. Because uh, we weren't too sure about that, so let's just check that out. Uh, but yeah, I had a super fun time. I was there for an E3 uh, screening of their EA games. Um, so we got to see The Sims 4 at E3 on a big cinema screen, and I met some of their EA Australia representatives, so that was really cool. And it looks like these guys can walk under these uh, with no problem at all, so that is a good thing. I'm very, very happy about that. But let's get into this. Uh, I have been reading a lot of comments and uh, you know what the funny thing was? Uh, I was struggling. I was like, how can I make this so the, the driver can see over the chairs? And you guys were like, why don't you like just swap them around with the spa? And I was like, I have no idea why I didn't think of that myself. <laughs> uh, but I think it's safe to say I was very tired last time I recorded and I was very, uh, kind of on a very tight schedule. So unfortunately I didn't have time to pre-record for the week that I was absent uh, or away at least. But good to be back and making videos again. Um, I'm probably going to be working off a bit of a schedule, uh, not, not one that I'm going to, I guess, show publicly, but um, myself I want to be able to get an episode of uh, let's build a houseboat, let's furnish a sorority house, and uh, also let's play The Sims 3 Late Night with Eleanor um, at least once a week. So that is the plan uh, from my end. So I'm just switching this around a little bit, making it look pretty. I also added in, uh, I was struggling to do this before, uh, but I did end up adding in the ladders here that are going to go uh, from either side of this. They go up to the top deck where we're going to have kind of a rooftop garden, which I'm excited about. And also a lot of you guys were like, can you please fix the roof because it's annoying me. And uh, <laughs> that's cool, I completely understand that. So we're just gonna stick in some placement pillars here so we can just fill in the, the gaps, I guess. Uh, we need that gap, don't we? And uh, where's another pillar here? But yeah, Sydney was like, seriously, so much fun. It was so nice to meet uh, those other YouTubers. And uh, I also met uh, a couple of other simmers. Um, at the EA E3 AU night as well, so that was fun. Uh, but yeah, Aussie Aussie simmers are just such friendly people. Um, we're, we've got a we've got a good crew here, so it was great to meet them all. And yeah, so I was just a very very happy gal. <laughs> so that was good. Now I'm thinking. Oh, we can't make these ladders go up any further. Like we can only have one wall height here. We can't use any CFE. So I'm wondering if we just kind of simply put the roof around here, like a half wall, but I'm almost like, does that look too boxy or is that fine? Uh, if we just give this a paint, let's see what we think of that. Actually, that's not too bad at all. Uh, I'm, I'm not like, I'm actually okay with that. Uh, now, do we, should we make the balustrade match this white part to kind of tie it in? I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's what we should do. Um, but yeah, it was really cool. They had like, uh, we had a kind of, after the screening, we went to a bar and Liz, full Liz from EA Australia, the Sims representative, she had made sure that all our cocktails were colored sim green and they had the name hot headed sim uh, so we thought that was pretty funny and um yeah it was good it was all good played a lot of nintendo 64 with the sim supply and caitlin and zeus and streamed a bit of it so some of you guys i recognized some of you on there watching so that was really cool uh i definitely enjoyed that and now we're going to use these into the future rugs. Oh, you guys also uh, mentioned that you would love to see some skylights up here as well. Uh, that was mentioned 
a lot actually. So I was thinking, where's the center of this? I need my grid on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Well, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. That's in the center. Uh, so maybe we can just kind of do a bit of a skylight going all the way through here. And this is from the Into the Future expansion pack, if you are unsure. Uh, so yeah, if we go kind of underneath here, we can kind of look up and see it, I guess. Whoa! <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. You can kind of look up and and see uh, this guy coming through there. Should we maybe do another one on each side? Or am I being a bit too keen doing that? Slightly too keen, I think. Uh, but the other thing is, um, on James's channel, the Sims Players channel, we have collaborated doing a Let's Build. And uh, that was really fun. He obviously built it on his channel and I finished it in the room with him, which was pretty fun. Uh, there's a lot of shipping going on in the comments, which we thought was pretty funny, but just to clarify, we are not dating, uh, we are just good friends. <laughs> but uh, that, that was interesting to see that kind of unfold uh, in the comments while we were there. Now, where's some fencing? Oh, and by the way, just to clear up any confusion, we are not cousins either. Uh, that, that is, uh, that was just joking around. Um, do we want the into the future things? We might get the fencing that we have down here again, I think. Or maybe, or maybe we just need like a, the really, really short fence, uh, like this one. We can put some vegetable patches up here as well. Two, three, four, five. Three, four, hmm. It is slightly uneven. I'm not sure, maybe I'll leave this side open like that. Whoopsie daisies. I'll pop that like that. And I also have another driving with Deli vlog to put up uh, that I made with Zeus and Caitlin and James, which is fun. I'll put that up in the next couple of days too. Uh, Cause that was a bit of a hoot. And you get to see some of Zeus's driving. Uh, so pop that on there, make that all white, which is very nice. Uh, oh yeah, but the speed, not the speed build, the let's build a house collab I have created with the Sim Supply. That is, uh, that is, I've been getting a lot of comments saying that the last few builds have been more feminine and I totally agree with that. Uh, so I definitely took those comments into consideration, so I've made sure the latest French I've done with James uh, was for a masculine sim, which we actually ended up calling uh, Xavier or Zavi for short. Uh, while we were doing, we filmed the Let's Build before we actually uh, created, I guess, a video for my channel, which is Create a Sim Zavi which is uh, quite an interesting character. We loved him so much talking about him when we were building the house that we decided we had to make him. So I'll be uploading that onto my channel soon as well. So definitely keep your eyes out for that. So that will be up soon. Uh, and that'll have to be in two parts because it was a 40 minute creator sim. I guess it it's not that long because usually creator sim videos are sped up and maybe that's how long it kind of takes to make sims. Uh, I'm not really sure, but it was a lot of fun. So it was, it was good just to hang out. Now, what color should we make this flag? Uh, I love that the ropes are working. We should probably add some more ropes around the boat too. Uh, you know what? I might come back to this rooftop uh, after we've done more of the downstairs area. If you guys have any idea of what you want up here, I'm thinking that we have uh, you know, vegetables from by the bug mode, that would be really cool. Uh, maybe I'll need to put some buckets and stuff around. I wonder if there's a watering can. Uh, it would be really handy to have a watering can. So hopefully there is, but we'll just leave it like that for now. And uh, why did I, did I recolor these? I can't remember, but I'm not happy with, uh, I'm not a happy chappy with how it's looking right now. So I'm assuming I did not color that, uh, those curtains just yet. And I know people are saying there's a lot of blue in this, but I'm liking the blue theme because it is a sea, 
a uh, sea theme. So we're going to probably put some more blue on here. Uh, just to keep that going. Also, I will be recording uh, Let's Furnish a Sorority House up. Um, probably after this I'll record it, but I'll upload it tomorrow night, I think. Uh, which for most of you, unless you're fellow Aussies, will probably be um, not a night upload. Alright, let's pop that there. I mean, that's kind of cute. Or maybe it should be orange because there's the orange here and it would be good to tie in with that. So let's just see what the orange looks like. Uh, but yeah, I, I really am enjoying this houseboat build. I love coming back to it and working on it. Uh, I'm really I'm really glad that I have done this as a series with you guys because I guess when you do a speed build, you, you do it quickly and then you commentate over it and you can't really enjoy sharing it as much with you guys because you guys are kind of helping me with how this is turning out. And uh, that's the most fun thing about it, you know? kind of working together to make it look, you know, good and fun and funky and whatnot. So I have to say I'm enjoying this one a lot in particular. Uh, really, really have my head in the game for this one. Okay, you know what? Now I'm thinking it should be striped. Oh, so indecisive. Uh, let's go here to Geometric and uh, then we'll go further down. I also went shopping at Victoria's Secret at the Melbourne airport when I got back home and I've never been to Victoria's Secret before because we don't really have the stores other than in airports and I always forget to go when I'm in the airport. So I finally went to my first Victoria's Secret shop and I was very, very happy about that. Uh, good store, good fun store. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I do watch the Victoria's Secret show every year. Uh, I've always really enjoyed it. Uh, so it was nice to, to actually go to the store for once and not just watch the show. Okay, that's... What do we reckon? Do we like the stripes a bit better? I personally do, so we're going to keep them like that. Great. Now, moving downwards onto the next level. Now, someone commented and said I f that they felt this uh, this color of the wall was a little bit too feminine, uh, particularly for Bill. More Esther's color, but less so Bill's. And, may Bill's, and maybe it should be... Uh, it is Bill, right? Yeah, Bill Baker. To make it more of a tangerine color. So... I definitely took that on board and I agree. The pink is really nice, but uh, it needs to be slightly more masculine, I think. Um, so I'm just gonna play around here with a few different colors. Oh, there's always that threshold we don't wanna pass. So that's a little bit too pink. I'm just gonna take it back a notch. Maybe something like that. What do we think? What are we thinking? I think that's better. Uh, oh, there's our spa base again. <laughs> Got to get rid of that. And I'm pretty sure that didn't delete the spa. There we go. The spa's still up there. So let's just say that they have some very, uh, very good, I don't know, technology there so the spa doesn't go through the roof. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is looking nice. Um, we do need a rug in here because I think this area is looking a little bit bland right now. Some of you guys were saying this is looking a bit cluttered in particular in the let's uh, finish a sorority house. Uh, so we will maybe simplify it just a little bit like so. And uh, I think we need to change this yellow to a blue uh, or a red or a green. Let's see. Oh, purple was kind of nice. We'll leave it as purple. Uh, just so it doesn't kind of, there was a bit too much yellow then. Alrighty, so we could do like a fairy rug, but that's way too fancy from the houseboat. Uh, this rug's from, that was from Midnight Hollow. I don't think anything came with this expansion pack. Uh, what's that? Bakery sales rug. It's a little bit small if you ask me. Although, 
using small rugs is not a bad idea. I mean, it's kind of cute having just little rugs. Oh, what should we do? Oh, I love this Kingdom of Cambodia rug. It's so awesome. It kind of goes with the chairs, which I do like. Uh, maybe if we could make it just creamy colors, that would work. Um, it's just like a nice simple rug. Keeping it simple, simple and nice. Uh, and I mean they've been traveling, so it's kind of like, oh, except we can't change those darker, oh, that sucks, the darker kind of accent colors in the rugs can't be changed. Ugh, annoying. Uh, so maybe we could try this. Just a, a nice rug on that one. Oh, I need to decide. Can this one be changed color so it doesn't look like a record player? Well, I guess it's the same carpet, so whatever. We'll just keep the rounded rug. And I say we go for something pretty easy, pretty uh, pretty neutral, nothing too crazy. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys have had a good week. Thank you for being so patient for, since I haven't had many videos up. This week, it was such a bummer not to be able to pre-record, but I was flat out with work. Ugh, work has been busy. It was like the busiest day ever that my work has ever had, uh, which is pretty intense. Okay, that's nice. Although it's very blue, we have this blue issue again. I don't like that though, because that's just like everything else. Maybe that can have yellow accents in it. Hmm. I don't know. I'm feeling like this carpet should be more creamy colored. Okay. With blue speckles in it. Actually, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I like it. Okay. Nice. Uh, do we want it to be a little bit whiter? Alrighty, I think that's alright. Okay, we've got the TV there. A few people are like, why wouldn't you use the big TV on the wall? That one's too small. But hello, they are, look where they are. They're in freaking Isla Paradiso. You do not want to be watching TV when you're in such a glorious, <laughs> glorious place, uh, in my opinion. Now over here, I'm wondering if they have like a chess table or something like that, something that they can kind of entertain themselves with, uh, where they'd play card games and stuff like that. That would be something that I would like to do if I was on a houseboat. Uh, why am I in the electronics? <laughs> I don't know. Well, they need some boat stuff too. Like put that, oh, well that was a bit awkward, wasn't it? Uh, no. Here we go. Oh, this is the kids one, right? Uh, so we need the adult one. Kind of put that on the wall there. And uh, what else can we put there for entertainment? What's this? Is this foosball? Gosh, The Sims love its foosball, don't they? They they just adore it. <laughs> I'm, they, I reckon at EA they have a foosball table in the actual EA offices. Uh, I reckon that would be the case. Oh, slice of life golf driving range. We should totally put that up here. I can't, I'm pretty sure someone said to do this, which would be so typical of Bill, like as if Bill wouldn't have a golf range on top of his houseboat. <laughs> I wonder if it can sit there and be used. Let's have a look. Uh, Cause that's pretty cute. Bill, go play golf. Up you go. Uh, hopefully it does work and he can actually get up that ladder. Yay, he went up the ladder. Wow. I love his lip parody, so. Oh, he can use it. It's like on top of the houseboat playing golf. Gotta love it. Bam. <laughs> He's like, yes, good shot. All right, now where's Esther? Is she moved onto the boat now? Ah, oh, she can chill there while we finish it off more. Oh my gosh, she wants to woohoo in the all-in-one bathroom? That's crazy. Girl, you still got it going on and you're an elder sim. Wow, not bad. 
not bad at all. Now, where is that uh, hobbies and skills? We want the chess table. King domino table. Oh, that's cool. King domino. So that's for playing dominoes. Well, king domino, domino, duh. Uh, this was a gift that I said I would use, but it's a bit fancy for the houseboat. Uh, they don't need a dragon's egg, that is for sure. Why don't we just put this one in here? They're elders, so they like a sneaky game of chess, so maybe we'll put that out here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> put that out there. Oh, I don't know what to put in this space here. So hard to choose. Okay, we're going to put the chess table in. It's going to happen. And unless they have like some Pilates mats and they're totally like zen kind of people. That's another idea. Now nah, we'll put some bookshelves in. Something like that. Okay, so I think this table should be not this concrete color. Maybe it should be wooden. Uh, make it a little bit more organic looking. A bit softer. To kind of go with this nice beach theme. Like that. Maybe slightly darker. Oh no, we'll keep it light. <laughs> Uh, and you really can't see the wood texture on that, but I actually don't mind it. Should we take some chairs from upstairs back down here? Or get some new chairs? Let's see. Let us see. I do like these upstairs chairs though. Oh, I just love this upstairs part of the boat. I think it's so colorful and happy. Just loving it. Oh, we always have this problem with the chess table where it doesn't... This was in my cliff build. Oh, there we go. It works now. <laughs> Where it wasn't like picking up uh, the other chair. I was only picking up one. I was like, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> All right. So we've got the chess tables there. I think there's enough room behind the couch for it to still kind of look nice. Uh, and you know what? These wooden chairs are a bit too wooden. So we are going to get some more plain white chairs. Something like... Nah, not that one. Um, that's a bit modern for them. We just want like a, the plainest chair. This one came from Seasons and that's pretty nice. I do like those. Okay, so just plain chairs. We could make them a bit of a pastel color, but we've already got a lot of colors in the room. So I think I'm just going to make it a sandy, sandy brownie color. We're going to have to lighten up the wood a little bit on the chairs too uh, to just make it fit in with the surroundings a little bit better, I think. Uh, like that. They're nice chairs. Pretty. So we've got quite a nice lounge room to be able to chill out in. And uh, maybe we can put some music here. Did we put music upstairs? Oops. Uh, let's see. Did we put a Stezza up here? I don't think we did. So sure, let's go back down. And uh, put one just down here. And that'll look pretty nice. This is from The Sims 3 University Life and I kind of like it because it's a little more old school. Uh, what's this? That's a bit creepy. That's from The Sims 3 Supernatural. Put that there. So they can have their beach tunes playing. Uh, I might just sneak it behind the staircase here. Uh, like so. And uh, yeah. What I'm going to ask you guys is what you think should be put in this area just here. Because I don't know what to put here. Uh, it can't be really that big I don't think. Uh, and we have the problem of the garage door here that we can't really put bookshelves in too successfully. So if you have any ideas, do let me know. Because um, that would be really helpful. And wall decorations, we should probably put in something like... Uh, something colourful. Something colourful and fun-loving. Ooh. Uh, we don't have any doors in here, I just realised. We really need to put some doors in. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably be a good thing to get around the houseboat with. Uh, don't want that. What's this? Spider web. Uh, what would what would they have? Maybe this. This is from World Adventures, and it's just kind of like a random 
uh, I don't know what it is actually, a random thingamabob and majig we'll call it. Oh, I could put birds on the wall. It's a bit modern though. Uh, a bit too, too out there. I could just kind of put an expressionistic painting up. Uh, or the cityscape from where they originally came from, maybe. That's an interesting idea. Uh, as if they came from the city and then they've... Maybe they lived in Bridgeport and now they've, re they've retired on a boat and they're sailing around Isla Paradiso for a change uh, after working very hard throughout their younger years. <laughs> oh, there's this, which is pretty cool. I love this. And it's got sharks on it, but it looks like a kid's bedroom thing. Let's just leave this here. Um, I do like doubling them up, actually. That looks kind of cool. I mean, ideally, I would love to take pictures of his... Oh, actually, I know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. So where are those digital frames? Uh, here they are. Is that the biggest one we can get? I can never quite remember. No, here's the bigger one. So what I'm going to do is put this on the wall and then we'll take a photo of Isla Paradiso and put it in the frame. Uh, that's what I want to do. There we go. So if I go to live mode and uh, anyway, let's take a photo of... What do we like in Isla Paradiso? Uh, I guess what would go in the room is some pictures of like a beach hut or something. That would be pretty. Oh my gosh! Hey, what's going on, dude? Uh, like a picture of a beach hut or something. Sure, camera, take a photo. Do I? Oh. Oh, it's gonna take a photo from where she's standing. Or maybe it can just be like the view, an abstract view. I feel like I'm recording a let's play right now, but I just need a photo to stick on the wall. <laughs> Oh, that island in the background. There we go. Okay, now let's pause it, go back into the house. Or the house boat, rather. And we'll put it in the frame. Exciting. Uh, how do I put it in the frame? Do I go view photos? Uh, camera, photos. Here we go, view photos. Pop that in the frame there. There we go. It's quite nice. So lots of uh, blue space there. So we've got that nice photo on the wall. Uh, and then we need to quickly put some doors in as well. Because I'm really excited to just fill up this room space and then actually work on their bedroom and then the kids' bedroom. Uh, or the grandkids' bedroom. Should be nice to work on. So door in. And let's maybe go for... We could go with these typical... Nah, they're not really modern enough. That's my problem with them. We'll just go with this basic door. Because uh, I love a basic door on my houseboat. <laughs> so let's go to miscellaneous. Wait, wait, uh, wait. Wait, like this. And then we'll pop it on here. Stick one bathroom door there, one bathroom door there. And maybe a bathroom door here. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.